first steps in making bread is to combine all the main key components. First, yeast is added. Yeast is a live microorganism that is used in many different forms. In this case, the baker is adding dry yeast. Next, water is added. Buttermilk or milk are also commonly used. Sugar is then added. In this particular recipe, corn syrup is the desired sugar source. The combination of yeast and sugar are crucial in baking bread. I'll talk more about that later in the video. Flour is then combined with the other ingredients. With eggs or optional spices already added, the mixture is then stirred to an oatmeal-like consistency. The mixture is then left to begin the first steps of rising. After a couple minutes, more flour is added and the mixture is ready to be kneaded. Salt, a majority of the time, is added for the presence of sodium and chloride ions, both of which are needed for the joining of protein chains, which in turn forms a stronger formation of dough. A lot of times, this is where people making bread at home would knead by hand. In large portions, or at many bakeries, like Great Harvest Bread Company, they use a machine. The machine, as shown, is a necessary mechanic for several proteins to settle in layers surrounding starch pockets and to give the dough its beginning familiar characteristics. After the dough is a sticky yet form consistency, the dough gets left to rise. During the rising of bread, the yeast feasts on the sugars present in the dough and in turn respires aerobically, producing carbon dioxide. It's formation of carbon dioxide bubbles that are then trapped in this gluten frenzy that actually grow and produce this unique texture of bread, as well as decrease the oxygen of the dough and thus launching the fermentation process. Once the dough has doubled in size, it is then kneaded to usually the shape of a regular loaf of bread. It is then set in the oven to bake. Once the now baked, warm and delicious bread is taken out of the oven to cool, the last remaining yeast molecules die off and the air pockets that form from it give the bread its soft and spongy texture, almost every American knows too well. If you like this video or want to know more about baking bread or any other cool chemistry projects, head on over to www.chemistryislife.com. Also, my class's own chemistry teacher was named Montana Teacher of the Year. If you want to know more about him or really his daily life, go on over to his own website, www.blscience.com. Uh, 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 uh.